Hi, my friends. I'm Kyle Searcy, pastor of Fresh Anointing, One Church, Two Locations, Montgomery and Atlanta. And we're talking about what you do next. Many of you have prayed to receive Christ in your heart. We just told you what just happened to you, but now I want to tell you what you should do now. Now that you've given your life to Christ, there are three different things you should do. Number one, you should talk to God all the time. Talk to God all the time. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians, hard verse to say, come on, say it with me, Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, pray without ceasing. That's what it says. Pray all the time. Don't stop praying. Pray without ceasing. So that's what we need to do. Let me give you another verse in Philippians chapter 4, verse 17. It says, be anxious or worried or troubled is what that word means about nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So the Bible says don't be anxious, don't worry, don't be troubled, but do what? Pray about everything. And the peace of God that passes all understanding will keep your hearts in mind. So there are three different ways you can pray. Number one, you can thank him. Thank him for who he is. Thank him for what he does. Thank him because you like him. Thank him because he woke you up this morning. Thank him because he's been good to you. Number two, we can ask him for stuff. We can ask him for stuff for yourself, for other people. God, thank you for my boss. Make him nicer. Thank you for my kids. Lord, help them do well in school today. You can ask him for things for other people and ask him for things for yourself. On number three, you can just love him. God, I just love you. I, I just thank you for who you are. I love who you are. Those are three things you could do. Talk to him about other people. Ask him for stuff. Thank him or just love him. But talk to him all the time. Don't stop. The second thing is tell somebody what has happened to you. In Luke chapter 8, verse 39, there's a story where Jesus helped a young man uh, in a very powerful way, and here's what happened. He said, return to your house and tell what great things God has done for you. And then the Bible says he went his way and proclaimed throughout the whole city the great things Jesus had done for him. When God does something for you, changes your life, you should tell somebody else. Now, everybody's not going to be happy about it, by the way. Everybody's not going to love it. Everybody's not going to be excited. Some people are going to be convicted by your lifestyle because they're still doing bad and you're doing better, and they'll be jealous. Some people just won't understand it. So don't always expect a positive response, but you ought to tell somebody, you know what, I'm walking with God now. That's called your testimony. In Revelation chapter 12, verse 11 says this, that they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. In other words, when we give our testimony, we overcome. So tell somebody what's happening to you. And the third thing is find some Jesus people and hang out with them. Find some Jesus people and hang out with them. In Matthew chapter 18, verse 20, the Bible says, where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am in the midst of them. So there's something about getting with other people who are so, so, who, who are like you are. So find some Jesus people. Man, find a church to come to. If you're in this Montgomery area, we'd love you to come to Fresh Anointing. In Atlanta area, look us up. We're in Atlanta area also. But if you're somewhere else, find a church where people kind of believe the right thing and teach the right thing. You get the right vibe when you go in there and hang with some Jesus people. Your life will be better because of it. So there's a verse in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9 that says this. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion, but woe to him who is alone when he falls, for he has no one to help him up. Again, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one be warm alone? You know how you stay on fire for God? Stay with other people. Get with other Jesus people and connect with them. So there are three things you need to do. Number one, talk to God all the time. Number two, tell somebody what happened to you and number three, find some Jesus people and hang with them. And I believe your life will be better than ever before. Listen, why don't you get in touch with us? Give us a call at 334-613-3363. Or visit our website at fahow.org. Fresh Anointing House of Worship is what that stands for, .org. Or go on our Facebook page, Fresh Anointing House of Worship. We'd love to know what's going on in your life. We'd love to stay connected with you. Listen, we're praying for you, and we hope the best in your life. God bless you.